Shalom, shalom. This is Eddie Kai 25 till to me, Nitty. Two Kai 24 made it. The bird. Mac Kai 24, Machi Kai 24, night two. So, um, we're just gonna go off the spirit. No rehearsals, no nothing. So, yeah. So, you're gonna see. I'm, I'm here to test the bird's abilities, see if he still remembers the scriptures from years ago. Um, we haven't done any training together in ages, so let's, let's see it. Hard. So we'll start off with Revelation 14 and 1. Well, we're getting there. And I'll ask you the truth. Um, what is the light? Without getting the scriptures. Matt? What does that mean? What's the question? What's the light? The light is the law. What's the truth? Keep his commandments. Be a God. Choice, choice. So read Revelations 14 1. Revelations 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion. And with him, a hundred and forty four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So this is John having a, the revelator having, a, um, he's revealing to you guys, that's what revelation means, to reveal. So he's revealing to you guys that the elect, there's 144,000 of them, and they all will have their father's name written on their foreheads, in their foreheads, on their foreheads. But we've got to see through the scriptures. So we'll go to Revelation 7 and 3. Yeah. So... We're just going to go through these precepts of finding the elect. This, this is basic milk. So we're just going to go play around with this for now. Revelations 7 and 3. Saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So we can't um, see the... Um, we can't see the destruction of um, the Edomite kingdom and Babylon until... We have sealed our elect, and that's that 144,000. Can you keep reading? And I heard a number of them which were seen, and they were seen 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the children of who? Of the children of Israel. So, and, and today, it's the children of Ikoro. So, we need to seal the 12 elected tribes from the Ikoro, and um, I got that, uh, that chart. That you need i got the tribes already chosen and sealed um now we're going to go out there and find those people and that's what we got to do we're warriors we need to find a team and can you read um seven and three again revelations chapter seven verse three saying hurt not the earth hurt not the earth neither the sea neither the sea nor the trees nor the trees Till we have sealed, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Mm. So um, we're going to get the meaning of forehead. Have you got a Bible dictionary in your friend? No, I got one. I think so. Keeps it ahead. So we're going to go to the Bible dictionary to get the meaning of the word forehead. Because people assume and think they already know what the word forehead means. Read the read read what it's coming out of. Forehead. What book? Easton's Bible Dictionary. Easton's Bible Dictionary. Forehead. Meaning. The practice common among Oriental nations of colouring. The forehead or impressing on it. Some distinctive mark as a sign of a devotion to some deity is alluded to in Revelations 13, 16, 17, 14 and 9, 17 and 5, 20 and 4. And if you heard that, Papa, we're going to read it again. But um, what, what the dictionary is saying is that the meaning of the word forehead is when someone gets a mark on their face, a distinctive type of sign written on their face to a devotion to a deity or a god. So can you read that again? 
Forehead. The practice common among Oriental nations of colouring the forehead or impressing on it some distinctive mark. Hold it there. Impressing on it some distinctive mark. Read. As a sign of devotion to some deity. But as a sign of devotion to some deity. Hence why we get the tamoko, because it's a sign of devotion to our ngātua, to our tūpuna. Hence the word tamoko, where reflection of the moko, the great nifa, the niwa, the tanifa. And we wear the mata ora. So we're here to seal the elect. And we've got to get the Father's name written on their face. Can you go back to Revelations 14 and 1? We're going to pump this out. Revelation chapter 14 verse 1. And I looked. And he looked. And lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. So the lamb is the sacrifice. And that's the kawa. That's the law. And that lamb is the power. That's the um, the king. You know, that's the, that's, the, that's the ruler of us. Read. And with him, 144,000, having his father's name having written. Having what? Having his father's name written. In their foreheads. So what we got to get is the Father's name written on our foreheads. And that's and the word forehead is when you get a um, distinctive mark written on your face to a devotion to an, uh, a God or the deity. And our tamako represents to the most high power of Hawa, Yahawa, Hawaiki. Yeah. So we're going to go read that again from the, from the top. Revelation chapter 14, verse 1. And I looked. And lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him, an hundred and forty-four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. That's right. Now we're going to precept that to Obadiah. Last, last verse on Obadiah. Because you want to precept upon precept. You want to back up. Every verse should have a backup. So we're going to back this verse up with a, with a precept from Obadiah. Last verse. Read. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 21 And saviors shall come upon Mount Zion And what? And saviors shall come upon Mount Zion And saviors, saviors is uh, plural Now it's talking about the 144,000 The elect, that's plural That's not one saviour, that's saviors Why? Because they're following the Lamb And the Lamb is the law And the law is your saviour Because it comes from the most high power Read and saviors shall come upon Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And the kingdom shall be who? And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Now this kingdom will be under the cover. And this kingdom will be righteous. Now we're going to find out who the elect is. Let's go to um, Isaiah 41. We're going to try and find out where, who, what, where are they at. one yep Isaiah chapter 41 verse 1 keep silence before me O islands oh what O islands oh what O islands now the most high is talking to this these islands now he's telling you to keep quiet unto you unto the most high O islands time to listen fuck mai. read and let the people renew their strength let them come near then let them speak let us come near together to judgment so these people are here to come near to speak for judgment. And judgment day is at the end times. Go to um, verse 9. I oh, know, let's go to verse 8. Isaiah 41, chapter, uh, verse 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant. Who? Israel, art my servant. Israel is your servant. Everybody knows that. Read. Jacob, who, whom I have chosen. Hmm. The seed of Abraham, my friend. So everybody's got to know this, that the Israelites are the chosen, and the Israelites are the sand of the sea, but the Most High only needs and requires 144,000 from this island. Read. Thou whom, I, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. From the where? From the ends of the earth. Now he's talking to some islands from the ends of the earth. Read. And called thee from the chief men thereof. Called who? And called thee. From the chief men thereof. Now, according to the scriptures, um, 
he's looking for the 144,000 from the islands of Israel, from the end of the earth, from the chief men thereof. So we're the only people on the planet who can fulfill that prophecy. Read. And said unto thee, unto thou, who? And said unto thee, unto us, thou art my servants. I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Now who got cast away? When we go to Second Ezra, chapter thirteen, verse twenty-five. And we'll just read it all through because we've got to go through the history now, now we'll go to deuteronomy 28 verse 68 first our oh, verse 15. we'll just read a curse so okay. deuteronomy 28 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 But it shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes Which I command thee this day That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee So if the Israelites were given some laws 12 tribes were given some law statutes and commandments to keep and um there was a it's called a covenant we call that kawa and um kawanatanga covenant yeah and um these rules with this government a deal it's a contract we we keep the deal we get blessed we break the deal we get cursed as it read in deuteronomy 28 verse 15. we're going to go to 28 verse 68 read go straight to 68 Oh, now go to 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses, they're going to be upon you for a sign. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. Make you understand. Make you wonder. And upon, and upon thy seed forever. And upon thy what? And upon thy seed forever. So these curses upon the Israelite seed forever. And if you go through the... Curses, and you got to tick off those curses to um, be be part of the scriptures, be part of the Israelite nation. So read Deuteronomy sixty-eight, well, twenty-eight, sixty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Most High is going to bring you into captivity again with ships. Read, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So you ain't gonna see that the Hawaii again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So that's a that's a curse that's gotta that's gotta happen to the Israelites. So we're gonna go to uh second Ezra's thirteen forty five. So Precept must be a prime precept. We can't just say we did that through history. Now we've got to see where it's written. Mm. So you go to 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra. Chapter 13, verse 25. No, no, go to, um, I ain't go 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. So stop it right there and drop down to 40. So this is a vision of the man coming from the midst of the sea. This is a future time prophecy. This is where the electors meant to come from read those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of osea the king whom salamanta the king of assyria read. led away captive and he carried them over the waters so this is deuteronomy 68 our uh, 28 verse 68 getting fulfilled read and so came they into another land but they took this counsel among themselves they did what but they took this counsel among themselves mm -hmm. that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Where what? Where never mankind dwelt. So these people got carried away into captivity on slave ships back in the day 
in the time of Osea the king, uh, whom Salmanasa, the king of Assyria, led away captive. So that's the fulfillment of that prophecy. And then these Israelites went to a, landed in this place. And that's where they would have got sold for bond men and bond women. And then, then when they were there, they went to a place where never mankind dwelt. And that's here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Then we'll go back to um, Isaiah 41. First one. Because Isaiah tells you which, where did these people go. And then now I'm going to tell you where did they go. This Asari. Isaiah chapter 41. Verse 1. Keep silence before me, O islands. Stop him right there. So he's talking to the islands. Go to his verse 9. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth. So he's talking to the islands from the ends of the earth where never mankind dwelt. Read. And called thee from the chief men thereof. And they're going to come from the chief men. Read. And said unto thee, Thou art my servants. Who? And said unto thee, Thou yep. art my servants. So those people are the servants. So that's that's talking about us Māori coming to this land where never mankind dwelt. Then um, on the islands at the end of the earth. Now go to 25. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 25. Oh no, 24. Verse 24. Behold, ye are of nothing. What's that? Behold. Ye are of nothing. So the Most High is talking to all of you and saying, Behold, ye are of nothing. Read. And your work of naught. Mm. An abomination is he that chooseth you. That's right. So if you fellows who ain't from the chief men at the end of the earth, from the islands, um, where never mankind dwelt, and you came in the time of Assyria, when the ten tribes of Israel left those lands, you are of nothing. Read that verse again. Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught, an abomination is he that chooseth you. Exactly. Read. I have raised up one from the north. He has raised up what? I have raised up one from the north. The Most High has already raised up one from the north. Read. And he shall come from the rising of the sun. Shall he call upon my name? What should he do? From the rising of the sun shall he call upon my name. So, a land where never mankind dwelt. At the end of the earth, on the islands, from the rising of the sun, from the chief men thereof. And he shall come upon princes as upon mortar, and as a, as the potter treadeth the, treader, the clay. Yep. Now that's what he can do, is cut everybody up with the scriptures. Okay, now we're going to go and get sick and with uh, 13 verse 25. We're going to see who their man is. Because everybody thinks it's all these other Israelites across the scattered abroad. But the Most High just said he's raised up one from the north. Second Israel, 13, verse 5. 25. Verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest a man coming up from the midst of the sea. From the midst of the what? From the midst of the sea. So this island is comes from the midst of the sea. This island is at the end of the earth. This island is the land of the rising sun. We get the sun first. This island has the chief men thereof who are chosen and wear the father's name. This island has men who have the father's name written on their foreheads. This island has the 12 tribes of Israel in the ancient dialect of Paleo-Hebrew known as Pareo or Tereo. Mm. We have Waitaha here. We have Rewi here, we have Maui here, we have um, Rapana here, we have all the families of the 12 tribes of Israel here scattered abroad, and that's easy peasy. So keep reading from there, my brother, we're going to tell them the future of what this guy's got to do. The same as he whom God the highest hath kept a great season. So this is the, the guy that the Most High said he's chosen. So we're going to go to Revelations. Chapter 19, verse 12. I'll go to 11. 
Revelations chapter 19 verse 11 And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, mm. and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. So behold, he saw heaven open. What's heaven? Heaven is homey. Homey e hu ye ta ye. So we're people of homey. This is heaven. Heaven means we keep the law, statutes and commandments. And that's why these people went to this land to renew their strength for judgment day. And they went there to keep their statutes, which they never kept in their old lands. So we came here to learn how to keep the coal properly, but we've forgotten how to do that. So read. And in the righteousness, he doth judge. He does what? He doth judge. He does what? He doth judge. He doth judge and? And make war. And he's here to make war. That's why he's come to judge and make war. Read. His eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And his head was a living fire. Mm -hmm. And he had a name written that no man knew but, but he himself. himself. Keep reading. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Whose blood? The blood of Christ. Read. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. His name's called the Word of God. This guy is speaking the Word of God. No, nothing but. That's his name. Read. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. And who's those armies? The, the 144,000. Read. Clothed in fine linen. White and clean. That means they're wearing the law. They've renewed their strength. They've renewed their mind and converted their soul. Repented. Read. And out of his mouth go with a sharp sword. That yep. with it he should smite the nations. With this word, he's going to be able to cut and smite the nations by using it in the um, courthouses. Read. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So he's going to rule them with a rod of iron, with judgment and with war. And with the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, read. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. You've been there, done that. Read. And he hath on his vesture, and on his thigh. On his what? And on his thigh. On I his thigh. So these followers have the Father's name written on their face, and they have something on their thigh. Read. And he hath a vesture, on, and on his thigh a name written. King of kings and lord of lords. What's written on his thighs? King of kings and lord of lords. So that's what we call a puhoro. A puhoro is your rank. And on our ranking system, the Most High said we wear the king of kings and the lord of lords. And we wear his name on his face. Go to Revelations. Oh, no. Go to Psalms 37 verse 37. Psalms 37 verse 37. So we're just going off the spirit. I'm just going off the spirit. My brain's doing well. It's my main man. Look at that. No rust at all. But Psalms 37 verse 37. Psalm chapter 37 verse 37. Mark the perfect man. A what? Mark the perfect man. Who? Mark the perfect man. So mark the perfect man. And behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace. So it's pretty much saying what we say in Tereo. Tamako the perfect man and behold too for the end of that man is rongo matane okay so how do you become a perfect man uh the law is like uh, law, law law of the laws is perfect man of it's Proverbs. <laughs> I've got it. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Proverbs uh, Psalms 19, verse 7. So you got to understand how a man can become perfect. How do we repent? We repent by returning back to the law of the Most High. And then read. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The so, so that's what's perfect is the law of the Lord. And when you're keeping the law, laws of the Most High, that means you're perfect. Okay? That's how you become perfect. 
and you can be perfect in all things with Christ. Okay, so we'll go back to um, Second Ezra 13, verse 25, because this is the guy, the man from the north, the one from the islands. No man knows his name but he himself. But we can't tell you that song because only the elect will know the song. But we're here for you, fellas, for the 12 tribes scattered abroad mm, in the four corners of the earth. Thekinesius, chapter 13, verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision. Whereas thou sawest the man coming up from the midst of the sea. So they're visioning um, a man rising up from the midst of the sea, from the islands at the end of the earth, from the chief men thereof, with the father's name written on his face. And he'll have uh, the rank of king of kings written on his thighs. And he'll have 144,000 men with him. Read. The same as he whom God the highest hath kept for his season. Which by his own self shall deliver his creature. Which by his what? Which by his own self shall deliver his creature. So what, by his own self, he's going to deliver his creature. How is he going to deliver his creature? By teaching them the kawa. By teaching them the commandments of the Lord. And he can do it by himself. He doesn't need another brother to rise him up. He needs just to teach the kawa. Because he already got the most high power with him. The most high already chose him. The Most High is already dealing with him one on one. Yet the Most High don't deal with everybody at the same time. He deals with the one guy, just like how we dealt with Noah, just like how we dealt with Moses, just like how we dealt with Aaron. You know, he only deals with the one on one situations. So, can you read that again? I'm gonna go and get me a drink. The bro's just gonna keep reading because he's gotta listen to this part, okay? This is the future prophecies. Technicians chapter 13, verse 25. This is the meaning of the vision, whereas thou sawest the man coming up from the midst of the sea, the same as he, the same as he whom God the highest hath kept the great season, which by his own self shall deliver his creature, and he shall order them that are left behind. And whereas thou sawest that out of his mouth there came as a blast of wind and fire and storm, and he shall hold neither sword nor any instrument of war. But that the rushing in of him destroyed the whole multitude that came to subdue him. So this is what the power of the word you can make people tremble with telling the truth. Okay, read. This is the interpretation. This is the interpretation of the man and the vision of the man coming from the sea. Read. Thekinesias chapter 13 verse 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. Mm -hmm. That's now. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another. Please listen to this. One shall undertake to fight against another. Read. One city against another. Read. One place against another. Read. One against another. Read. One realm against another. Read. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the signs shall happen which I shewed thee before, and then shall my son be declared. So that's already come to pass. A lot of wars coming, a lot of race wars, a lot of tension between realms and different types of ideologies and makeups of different towns and people. And that's already come to pass. Now, the time is for you to know the son of the Most High. Read. Whom thou sawest as a man ascending. He was at the bottom from the mud, and he ascended. Read. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle. They have one against another. Mm. So this follows a shot caller. Read. And then an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together, as thou sawest them, willing to come, and to overcome him by fighting. So these, these, these going to be a group of people hating on this fellow and on these people. And they're going to come and try and subdue you. Read. But he shall stand upon the top of Mount Zion. And that's um, Revelations chapter 14 verses 1. On the top of Mount Zion was a lamb, and with him was 144,000. Read. And Zion shall come. Mm -hmm. And shall be shewed to all men. So the, the world's going to know this. That the whole world's going to know that the true Hebrew Israelites, the true um, chosen pe children of the Most High Power, is the um, people on this island, the twelve tribes of Ikoro. Read. Being prepared and builded, like as thou sawest the hill graven without hands. So, so this is what you've got to understand that our culture and our nationality, the Maori people, has been builded and molded from the Most High. The Most High has been playing with our people and nationality for 
for thousands of years trying to for this point of time he's been keeping us secret from the rest of the world the rest of the world is just starting to know who we are but with he's been molding us with a pure language a pure custom pure wayata meaning song pure um kani kani style of dance we've, we've, we've created a holy nation a nation that's set apart from the rest of the nations we're more spiritual than all nations we're more physically spiritual we're more um we, we, we're not racist towards other nations mm. we actually are welcoming people with a holy nation holy is just hoary means separate read and this my son this my son and this my son the wicked inventions of those nations and that's why i always say i'm here to make war and judge to rebuke all the wicked inventions they have done to my people because it's inventions that starts in here read which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempest so these people this is their way read and shall lay before them their evil thoughts so i know all the evil thoughts of man read and the torments wherewith they shall begin to be tormented yep read. which are like unto a flame Mm. It burns their souls when they get told that they are the wicked and evil of this earth and I just told them that in their face They can't do nothing about it and I got evidence and proof read and he shall destroy them without labor by the law by the what by the law by the what by the law by the law and This is how we know we got to go and conquer these people is by the law of the most high power Because the law of the most high power is the foundation of the law of the government the government springs off the most high's laws so we are the foundation of that law we are the governors of that law means we can cut those branches off if we knew how to do it and do it mm, so ask me and i'll help read which is like unto me it's like unto the most high this law boom it's a jealous law mm. read and and where else where is thou source that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him so this fellow's going to gather another peaceful multitude unto him. So no matter what, these people are going to get numbers. Read. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. Those are who? Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. So these are the elect. Read. In the time of Osea, the king, whom Salamanta, the king of Assyria, led away captive. Led away captive. And he carried them over the waters. Over the waters. And Thor. And so came they into another land. They went to another land. Read. But they took this counsel among themselves. So when they're in this other land, they took this counsel among themselves. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. And go forth into a further country. And go forth into a further country. Where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt. Read. That they might there keep their statutes. When they get there on this island, on this place where never mankind dwelt what are they going to do there keep their statutes they're going to keep their statutes read which they never kept in their own land when they never kept the kawa in the in their own land back in the days that's why we're here read and then and they entered into euphrates now this is the journey of how we got here read by the narrow places of the river went down the river for the most high then shoot signs for them they, the most high showed us signs and held still the flood Till the flood of the of the um other oppressors coming, read. Till they were passed over. We were passed over. For thou, the country there was a great way to go. It's a great way to go from this other land, read. Namely, of a year, and a half. And it took a year and a half for us to get here. And the same region is called Asareth. Asareth. Asareth means where never mankind dwelt, read. Then dwelt they there until the later time so these people are still there till the later times still with the same customs statutes commandments same language read and now when they shall begin to come and now when they shall begin to come this is the beginning read the highest shall stay the springs of the stream again mm. that they may go through therefore source thou the multitude with peace yep read but those that be left behind thy people are the are they that are found within the borders uh, within my borders yep now when he destroyeth the multitude of the nations that are gathered together he shall defend his people that remain mm, that's what the most High is doing defending us 
And then shall he shew them great wonders. And said I, O Lord, that beareth wool, shew me this. Wherefore, I have seen the man coming up from the midst of the sea. So stop right there. So this is the vision of Ezra seeing the man from the midst of the sea coming from the um, Asareth where never mankind dwelt on the islands at the end of the earth where the sun comes at first and these people went there to keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land so they should know the precepts. Go to Second Ezra 3 verse 36. Nezus chapter 3 verse 36 Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept my precepts Israel by name has kept the Most High's precepts Read that again Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts Israel by name has kept thy precepts The real name of our place is Ikaro That's the children of Maui and the children of, of the great cloud Ikaro is the great cloud of um, the Milky Way mm. And they Aotearoa is that great the land of the long white cloud and the Ikaro's that cloud. Yeah. So read that one more time. Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts. That's right. But not the heathen. Not the heathen. We kept all the precepts. Haka, Kapa Haka, Tereo, wearing pupu, keeping the kawa, keeping the Sabbath. Those are all keeping the, uh, the kawa Maui, kawa Rahiri. Those are all keeping the precepts of the Most High's laws. We remember the Passover by remembering Maui, how he conquered Tamate Ra. There's a Passover remembrance. We remember a lot of things, so we're going to go to Isaiah. Oh, no, yeah, Isaiah 41. Got to always go back to Isaiah 41. And 9. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 9 thou whom, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth From the where? From the ends of the earth Read And called thee from the chief men thereof Called who? Called thee from the chief men the thereof chief men thereof Read And said unto thee Thou art my servant Thou art my servant Read I have chosen thee And not cast thee away Now read and listen Fear thou not Fear thou not my people For I am with thee The most high is with you Read be not dismayed. Don't be dismayed at the Bible, okay? For I am thy God. He is your God. Read. I will strengthen thee. He's going to strengthen thee. Get you more understanding on how this is. Yeah. I will help thee. He's going to help you. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I will, uh, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He's going to do that to you, my people. Read. Behold. Behold. All they that were incensed All against thee. All those people that hated on our culture and our nationality and our race and on our customs. They'll be ashamed. They're going to be ashamed found. and confounded. Like, what? This is God's people? Yeah, hell yeah. This is God's people. Read. They shall be as nothing. They're going to be as nothing when they confront me. Read. And they that strive with thee shall perish. They're going to perish. Thou Read. shall seek them, and they shall not find them. No, no, no. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee. They that what? They that war against thee. They that war against us shall be as nothing. Prophecy fulfilled. Precept. That's, that's called uh, keeping the uh, precepts of Israel. Read. And as a thing of nothing. Nothing. We're the only um, Israelite nation that's never lost a war. Read. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. He's going to make a promise. This is the most high power holding up his right hand towards you, my mighty people. Read. Saying unto thee. Unto you. Fear not. Fear not. I will help thee. I will help you. Read. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. Now, fear not thou worm, Jacob. Tarawa is a worm. Fear not thou worm, Jacob. Thou worm is a teacher. Read. And ye men of Israel. And ye men of Ikoro, fear not. I will help you. I will help you. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord, Ha. Yah, ha, Read. And thy Redeemer. And thy Redeemer. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. Maui, ha. Read. Behold. Behold. I will make a... I will make thee a new sharp fishing instrument have you teeth. So if you have followed me before, the new sharp tradition instrument is a jawbone. We'll get that Judges 1515. Well you wanna stay there and I'll get it. Judges 
Judges chapter 15 verse 15. And he found a new jawbone. A new what? And he found a new jawbone. He found a new jawbone. Of an, of an ass. Of an eagle. And put forth his hand. And took it. And slew a thousand men therewith. So I got about a couple more hundred men to slay with this jawbone. Now we'll go back to um, Isaiah 15, to, uh, 40, 41 verse 15. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 15 yeah. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth So the right there say the Most High said he's going to give us a new sharp fishing instrument having teeth That's the jawbone and that's the Bible So go to um, verse 21 Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 yeah. Produce your cause What did the Most High say? Produce your cause So I'm producing this cause right here, right now Out the spirit I might as well do it right now Go Say it the Lord. Say it the Lord. Proof. I'm proving you this cause. Read. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. So this is what I gotta do. Is talk about Isaiah 41, uh, Revelations 14 and 1, uh, Second Ezra 13, man from the sea, the people of the island, the elect, the chosen ones. That's who I'm here, and I'm gonna get them, and we're gonna judge and make war. Read. Let them bring forth let and shoe us. Read it properly. Let them. Let them bring forth. Ah, oh, let them bring them forth. So let them bring them forth. So let them, the, the elect from the end of the earth, from Asareth, those chosen elect men, let them bring it forth and read. And shoe us what shall happen. And show you what shall happen. Read. Let them shoe the former thing. We're going to show you how it is in the olden days because we kept our precepts. We still kept the culture and the customs, okay? And the heritage. Read. What they be. What they be. This is how it is. Read. That we may consider. That you may consider. And know the later end of them. And you're going to know the later end of us. Read. Or declare us things for to come. And we're going to declare for things to come. Read. Through the things that are to come hereafter. Yeah. That we may know that ye are God. That who? That ye, that we may know, that you may know, that we, that ye are gods, that ye are gods, we are the gods now, the 144,000, the elect from the chief men thereof at the end of the earth on the islands, read, yeah, do good, or, or do, do evil. evil, read, that, that we may be dismayed this and behold it together, together. yeah, um, go down to, um, 27. This is what you're all going to say when you see this. Read. Isaiah chapter 14. Uh, Isaiah chapter 41. Verse 27. Read. The first shall say to Zion. They're going to say this. Behold. Behold them. Behold. Behold these. Behold these niggas. Look at these niggas. They think that they're the Israelites. They're going to freak out on us. Because they think they fulfill the prophecies to the T. No, don't. This is ours. From the chief men here. At the end of the earth, from the islands, from the rising of the sun, underneath the hidden cloud, underneath the great Milky Way, Ikaro, the true Israelites. Read it again, my bro. This is what all the people of Zion are going to be saying. Read. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. So this is me, my brothers. Uh, Akia, Akwa. This is me right now. I'm going to tell you that I'm here to bring the good tidings, okay? Read. For I beheld, and there was no man. There was no man, my brothers. Even among them, and there was no counsellor. No. That when I asked of them, could answer a word. That's right. So you can't fight this doctrine that I've got. I've got many more doctrines, and I've got a hidden song that you don't even know of. And um, But the truth is, I'm here for the 12 tribes scattered abroad. Okay? And um, I'm here to seal the elect. And then... In the future, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, okay? So, we're here to build a nation. We're already set up, setting up governments all over the place. Uh, we're not mucking around just being street preachers. I ain't a street preacher. I'm a warrior. Like I always said, I'm here to judge and make war, and I'm making war. And to get war, you need to be sitting on the Game of Thrones. you got to be playing chess, okay? you got to be traveling out there. you got to be meetings. you got to be knowing who's up. you got to be taking people out. you got to be putting people in. 
Okay, you got to do things that you don't want to be doing, but it's all for the will of the Most High. And um, we're going to stop it right there. Um, that was a good little video. So I'm going to let the pro finish off with um, whatever you want to select, my brother. Um, big thank you for, for this, my bro. Fucking straight up. You're still sharp on the sword. You're still sharp on the on the word of the Most High. You, you, yeah, so we're going to be hitting the streets together again. Um, we're going to be stuck. We're gonna start seeing the Kaitani file movement becoming a real thing, okay? We're not alone, we got many men. Many, many men. And uh, we all just keep a secret, but now it's gonna be exposed to the faces of men. Okay? Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Yep. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yep. Fear God and keep his commandments. What's that? Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. So we're gonna finish there. Shalom. Uh, Kwam Yashala, big um, karanga to Ikoro and Kaitani for Yeah.